The BD Rhapsody scanner reports quality metrics in real time at each step of your single cell assay from initial cell capture to bead retrieval. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the BD Rhapsody scanner to check the quality of your single cell multiomics experiments. For detailed steps of counting and capturing single cell using the BD Rhapsody Express single cell analysis system, check out our tutorial at bdbiosciences.com or scalmix.bd.com. The four main steps at which the BD Rhapsody scanner captures quality metrics are cell loading, bead loading, after bead washing steps, and finally the bead retrieval step. The first step of the BD Rhapsody scanner workflow is to capture individual cells in wells. The scanner will count each of the cells and report back the number of viable cells captured in the well and the actual multiplet rate. If these numbers are in line with your expectations, then you are clear to proceed to the next step of the protocol. With a perfect single cell suspension, we expect the multiplet rate to increase about 0.2% per 1,000 cells captured. For this experiment, we loaded 7,000 cells and captured 6,715 with a multiplet rate of 1.9%, which is slightly higher than our expectation, but not unreasonable. However, if the number of cells captured is dramatically lower or the multiplet rate is significantly higher than your expectation, it could be worthwhile to stop your experiment at this step and re-optimize the sample preparation. An excess of bees is loaded into the cartridge at this stage to ensure nearly all wells are occupied by a bee. The scanner will report back two pass or fail metrics for this stage bead loading efficiency and excess bead rate. Continuing with our experiment, we can see both metrics passed. Once both past metrics from the bead load scan are reported, the excess beads are then washed away. The cartridge is scanned to assess the number of wells that contain both available cell and bead, as well as the updated doublet rate. These values represent the theoretical upper limit of the number of cells that can be recovered in the sequencing data and aid in calculating the total amount of sequencing required. In our experiment, we can see that after washing, 6,115 cells were left in the cartridge with a multiplet rate of 1.4%. The cell retention rate has passed, so we're good to proceed to the next step. However, if a large portion of the cells were lost at this stage, indicated by a not pass cell retention rate metric, the experiment can be stopped and sample pre-processing can be further optimized. In this example, we loaded 20,000 cells and captured 17,699 at initial cell load, which is a good capture rate. However, after bead loading and washing, we only have 8,412 cells left in the cartridge with beads. This is a very large loss of cells and is further punctuated with the cell retention rate not passing. Again, we can stop the experiment if this is an unacceptably large loss of cells. After assessing these metrics, the cells are lysed and beads retrieved from the cartridge for further processing. The cartridge is scanned for a final time to determine how many bees were left behind. The scanner will report a pass message if more than 90% of bees are recovered. Proceeding with our experiment, we can see that the bead retrieval step worked, and our overall experiment was successful. If you receive a not pass metric at this step, you can check our FEQ for troubleshooting or reach out to your local food application scientist. The metrics reported by the BD Rhapsody scanner allow you to make informed decisions during your single cell experiments. They can help you save on sequencing costs by aborting experiments when cell capture rates are low or multiplet rates are high. If you're interested in learning more about the BD Rhapsody single cell analysis system, contact your local sales representative. Thank you for watching.